Brand loyalty could pay off big for you as PlayStation.com has initiated a pre-sale registration system for the limited quantity of PS5s coming out. We're going to take a closer look at the pre-order situation. We're also going to review the latest in date and price rumors, as sifting through them can be as confusing as Tenet. Well, we'll try and keep up. And lastly, let's talk about how the DualSense controller could be like James Bond's gun in Skyfall and that it might be able to recognize you by the way you hold it. Pretty bananas, huh? The Pre-Order Situation For those of us who want pole position in the race for who has the latest console first, Sony has officially invited existing customers to register for their pre-orders online. It will be a first-come, first-served kind of deal, and once you give your PSN online ID, they will send you an email and you've got to follow instructions at top speed to be the king of your neighborhood this winter. This could mean that if you were planning on having the PS5 be your first ever PS console, you'd be destined to start that journey at the back of the line. Oh dear. How many PS5s will they release as part of the first wave? Mums the word from Sony as they employ the silence is golden, loose lips sink ships, snitches get stitches company philosophy. And you know the thing with Sony employees? They're loyal. We are sure they are smashing around numbers in those board meetings, trying to hit that sweet spot that will ensure they corner the console market right from the get-go. You guys are running last gen, I need you next gen. We do know that they will be producing 9 to 10 million units this year in total, and for the first wave release it will be a one per household kind of situation. With each household allowed to order either the digital or standard edition, two DualSense controllers with charging stations, two cameras, two Pulse 3D headsets, and two media remotes. That's right. Latest on date and price. We've been going in circles trying to find you more than just rumors and leaks, but we do have a quote from PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan that he relayed to the BBC that Sony will be looking to emphasize value as opposed to price. That means it could be much more expensive than the rumored 399 US for the digital and 499 US for the standard. A lot of us might be needing second jobs to be a part of the future of gaming. As for a release date, look for a mid-November release. Anything later would be a little nightmare. The DualSense The next-gen controller's sensor could use a gyroscope and accelerometers to know who's holding it. From that, it could log you right into the PlayStation Network, saving you precious seconds and preventing your brothers, sisters, and roommates from playing as you and committing all kinds of crimes in your name. Good luck with that. It is likely that this new patent, first brought to light by Segment Next, will probably only be implemented with a later update. But imagine being able to be immediately recognized on a friend's PlayStation in another household in another country. In a way, it's a little creepy as it's the stuff the watchdogs warned us about. But in another, quite technologically impressive. Customized user experiences add a lot of value to products. With Sony employees as tight-lipped as a mafia, we'll have to wait to see on this one too. What do you think of the new pre-order system? Is it fair that existing customers have an edge? What about the DualSense grip recognition system? Are you impressed? Let us know in the comments down below, and like and subscribe for more from the gamer. Hasta luego.